read you another entry in the Stranded uh, story today. Uh, today I have entry number six for you. And uh, if uh, you haven't been um, listening to the previous entries, links are in the description. Um, and also a link to the Google Docs page um, with the story is there and you can go there and uh, suggest edits or uh, fix some of my corrections, that type of stuff, and offer some um, guidance to where this story is going if you wish. Um, and uh, please do so if uh, you think you have any ideas on where this story is going. Um, I am getting very close to the end of what I already have written. Um, so uh, I would like to see some ideas um, on where you think we can go with this. Um, so please uh, offer suggestions. At the bottom, there's a table that I started to put in, uh, or there people are putting in their name and some contact information. And uh, what I would like to do is if we get this story progressed farther to the point where it's kind of a complete, uh, a complete story or a complete book or whatever you want to call it, what I would like to do is uh, maybe e-publish it or something and then everybody can download it and li I'd like to have everybody's names that's helped in the credits and uh, and maybe even I know there's some online places where you can publish your own books and order them and uh, you know very obviously you just you just publish one or two or five or ten or whatever you want um, and you can set up the thing and people could go there and buy the book if you want you can link it anyway I just think it'd be really neat and uh, for you know a group of people essentially to contribute into this so please uh, consider going there and offering some comments and advice and make sure you put your name and information down at the bottom um, if you want to remain anonymous or something, you can and just, I don't know, make up a name or whatever you want to do. Anyway, so let's get going here on reading this. Entry number six. I figured I probably should start adding the date to these recordings. If for no other reason than that, so that might, I might be able to keep the date straight to myself. Wednesday, April 17th was the day of the crash, and I slept the first night here because I was tired from all the swimming to shore. The second day, I didn't do anything because I thought that a rescue ship would arrive shortly, and the third night here, I recorded my first entry, which would have been on Friday, April 19th. This is the sixth entry, so today should be Wednesday, April 24th. I can't believe I've been here a full week already. Mostly, I can't believe a rescue ship has not shown up yet. Nothing in my fish trap today. Found more of those yellow berries and another couple trees with the melon apples. I tried to find some of the barneys today with no luck. I'm hoping to watch them for a while and see what other things they eat. Maybe they eat some of the leaves from the bushes around here. That might be a good supplement to the fruit. But I really need to find some protein of some sort. Maybe there are some trees with nuts in the woods. I still have not found an easy way in. The forest is very dense, and I'm afraid I may lose my sense of direction once inside. I do have a compass, so maybe I'll try that tomorrow. Last night I awoke again to the screaming of my fellow shipmates. I dreamt that I was running through the corridor from my bunk room to the main deck. As I ran by one of the windows, I noticed something in my peripheral vision which brought me to a halt. I looked out the window and saw a woman staring back at me. Then I heard someone yelling that there was a fire on the main deck. I glanced up the corridor. When I turned back to look out the window, there was nothing there but the brilliant sunshine and the ocean. That is when the screaming started. Several people in extreme agony. The ship tilted hard to the starboard side and a closet door swung open and clocked me upside the head. I was knocked out, but I could still hear the screaming. I awoke with a cold sweat covering my body and feeling my eyes and feeling of eyes upon me. I stoked up the fire and lay there trying to get back to sleep for what felt like hours. I must have finally drifted off because I awoke this morning with bright sunlight shining through the holes in my makeshift roof. That is another thing I need, will need to work on. Luckily it has not rained heavily, 
just a few light sun showers during the day, but I will need to come up with a better shelter before I do get a real storm. So that was entry number six. Um, as I said, uh, I have, at, at this moment, I have one more entry written. So uh, please go offer suggestions. I'm hoping to get some more writing done here in the very near future, um, working on both this story and the other one I'm working on. I also have a couple others that I occasionally dabble on, but they're not quite as fleshed out as these ones, but um, maybe I'll get to them shortly. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.